In the greater Dallas metro area, DeSoto is a city where urban farms are growing. This system is set up to where the fish feeds the plants and the plants in return feed the fish. The farms are small, just a few acres, but they're about quality, not quantity. I figured out the best thing to focus on with farming is the soil. From my perspective, if you have good quality, highly nutritious soil, you end up with good quality, highly nutritious produce. These are okra. Specialty crops like these are grown intensively. It's a seven day from seed to harvest process. Today's Tuesday, so we should be able to harvest these by next Tuesday. Just this part here is all you need to get the full flavor of a radish. We have some bean sprouts from a hydroponic producer here in Dallas. There are plenty of local markets for produce like this. We contacted you. Some of these urban farms have been supported by grants from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This is the one of the high tunnels that you provided for us. And wow. And that support can be critical to their success. That seasonal high tunnel will allow to extend the growing season during the months here in, the, in Texas when we get down to the sub-freezing temperatures. Those urban operations that I see that are small in size are great in stature. This is Growing Power 101. Promoters of urban farms say there's an abundance of unused land in cities across the country. And the movement to convert those open spaces to productive agriculture like this has just begun. From This American Land, Gary Stryker for NBC News.